To start this build off, we need to establish what level the floor is at. So from where I am, which would be the bottom of the build, you want to come up one, two, three, four, five, six, and the seventh block here will be your floor level. On my floor level, I'm going to build out a 7x7 seven seven square. Break this middle block like so, add a dropper here, with a wool block on the back of it. You now need to cover all exposed blocks, except for the dropper and the wool, with carpet blocks. Once that is all set, come around back here and place a strip of wool blocks around back. Now facing the back, we want to place our pillars here, here, and here, all of which should be three blocks tall. I like adding a roof to mine using the slabs. Go out to the back of your build and place blocks on the back of the blocks you just placed. Now do the same thing with these wool blocks, only not at the top. Instead of adding more blocks to the top, we will be shifting them to the side to make a sort of upside-down U-shape. This is to frame the skulk sensors so that they don't go off. Now place more wool coming out of the back like this, and fill in these gaps here. It should now look something like that. You're free to cover the top of these blocks now, but don't cover these three holes. Now place an instrument block on the back of these bottom blocks here, with a note block on top. Come out three blocks on each one, with a comparator pointing toward the note block, and two redstone dust going into it. Place two more blocks, and place a dropper here, here, and here, with a hopper going into each one. These are our randomizers. Feel free to break these temporary blocks. In each of these droppers or hoppers, place a stackable item and a non-stackable item. Now fill in these gaps between the droppers and add a line of redstone across all of that. Now come around to this side, put a block on the side of this dropper, a block diagonal from that, go one, two, three, four, five, one down, and nine more across. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Place a repeater running into this block and cover the rest with redstone dust. Make sure to get that corner there. Then place one more block coming out in that direction, make another diagonal, and go three. And just add redstone dust on top of those. For this next bit, you want to create a line coming out of this front bit you just made, with this being the center block. Add two out, one, two, one, two, and connect that to create a rectangle. Add a detector rail going into this redstone line, and add rails across the rest of it. Add a block to this corner here, and replace this rail with a powered rail. Place your minecart with a chest on the powered rail. To the right of your chest, place a block there, with a second block right next to it, and build out one, two, three, four, five. Now add two extra blocks on the back because I can't count. There we go. Add a block to the back left corner, like so, with a redstone dust here, 
and redstone dust on the opposite edge. From there, place a comparator here, here, redstone dust, comparator, comparator, and do the same thing facing the opposite way on the other side. Place a block coming out from this side here with a repeater on it. Nope, with a repeater facing into the block. Place a block behind that, and place an observer facing into the repeater. Next, place a barrel here, delete the barrel in front of the observer, place a hopper behind the observer, place two blocks behind that hopper, like so, and place another hopper running into the back block. You can now remove this block here and replace it with a comparator. This is just to make a simple little sorter. So, you should have this arrow shape pointing toward the hopper, and I need a redstone torch to place on this last block here. Next, click on your hopper, place four stackable items here in that slot, and place 18 in the front slot. Now when I go up and place a nugget in, it should be sorted into the barrel. If I try to put this slime block in, nothing happens. For this purple module of the system, I will not actually be showing you how to build it, as it really is just this simple. I also messed it up in the tutorial process and had to rebuild it. And naturally, I did not capture the footage of that, so here we are. Enjoy! Go back to your floor level real quick, and break these temporary blocks we placed earlier. Now we're going back to doing these three prongs. So, two blocks here, here, and here. Break the middle block, and build a staircase going one, two. Then, put another block under there, and extend it two blocks forward. Add a sticky piston coming out of the front of each end, with a slime block on top. Then a repeater under these two blocks, with redstone dust coming out of those. These other three blocks can be covered with redstone dust. Facing the front again now, place a trapdoor against the redstone wire. Do not place it against these blocks, or it will not work. And then. Put another piece of wool on either side of the trapdoors. Really remember to take a step back and remember how silly this was that I messed up my own tutorial. Next, place three blocks coming out of this corner here. Feel free to remove these blocks. Add a diagonal block to each tail. and two more under those. Now we'll get started on the noodles of the build. To start out, go one, two, three, four, five, add two to that, and build one, two, three, four. For the middle noodle, you go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. And lastly, since we know this one needs to line up with that, we can just start at this end here. Build up until there's a one block space between these lines. This time we'll go across and down. So they should end up looking something like this. Now take some time to appreciate how I needed to clear up even more space because I messed up my own tutorial. Now aside from these comparators that go one block from the end here, the rest of these noodles can be covered with redstone dust. In this corner, place a repeater facing the noodles, with a redstone dust coming out of it.
Then place redstone dust on the tops of these blocks, and repeaters running into them. Come all the way back to where you placed those comparators and place observers on top of these redstone dusts. Now place observers coming out of the front and back of those. You now want to place blocks coming out of those observers that you just placed. And put your sticky pistons on top of those. Now to signify a win, I am placing these diamond blocks in the middle. They do not have to be diamond blocks, of course, but they do have to be aligned in order for the signal to go through. So place a block in between these gaps like so, with comparators running into them. Come around to this side where your redstone torch is facing that direction. Place a block here, and here. You can delete that one if you like. Place a repeater here, and a redstone dust here. That should send the signal all the way through these blocks only when they're aligned. Swing around to this side where the output comes. Place a block here with a repeater on top facing outward. Now before I build this next part I'd like to acknowledge how janky it is and if there's a better solution that you have for rewarding the player when they win, by all means go for it. But we'll start with the torch tower, going up one, two, three, four, five, six, add a block on top like so and a dispenser facing this direction with a hopper facing into that. Place a non-stackable item in the dropper. Build out four blocks, one, two, three, four, and have a redstone comparator coming out of the hopper. Once you've got that in place, go one, two, three, one, two, three, and make a wonky pulse extender that looks like this. Place a block out the front like so, with a sticky piston here, and I need an observer, hold. There we go. Place the observer facing up, place a block right here, and place an observer facing downward. Add a dropper here, and a dropper here if you feel like having two outputs, if not, no big deal of course. And for an extra bit of flair, put some note blocks up here, and tune them to a chord. Fill these droppers with prizes. Now this final step can be a little finicky, so just do your best. You've got to be really careful when working with this skulk sensor because one wrong move and you'll have to reset your armor stand swappers and that, that's really tedious, you know? So I'm going to place a temporary block here, here, and here. Place my trapdoor here, here, and here. Break the temporary block. Place my armor stands on top of these trapdoors. Add two glass blocks in front of those. I'm going to start adding the heads. Go down to your slime blocks, place armor stands on top of those. And somehow, in the middle of this chaos, find your way to put the armor stands on these trapdoors. Okay, maybe don't. In which case, you'll have to go and drop them down manually. That is my fault, I apologize. Now you can replace the glass, add your armor stands back in, add your skulls on top, which I forgot to do on the middle because of course I did. In, there we go. Boop. And let's see, I don't want, ugh, I don't want the creepers to be the win. So I will set those block, I will offset the winning blocks real quick. Okay. Uh, last thing I'm gonna do is break these blocks here. 
Again, I'm sorry, it's just a bit finicky. Go skulk sensor in front of these note blocks. Somehow, hold on, there we go. And before you do anything else, listen to my instructions. <laughs> Place one block at a time. Make sure the armor stands are perfectly still when you do this. Okay. Well, they can't all be winners. But thank you so much for watching, and I, I hope you enjoy and improve upon this build idea. Thanks. Bye.